Hey everyone, this is Josh with firefightermedic.com. Today's video blog, I want to talk about the concept of DUI or driving under the influence. <clears throat> now this video is actually being filmed in response to our video blog from last week in which we discussed how you should consider surrounding yourself positively or in other words, considering the friends you're with, the lifestyle choices you're making, um, etc. on down the line. Now I've gotten a, a number of emails both in response to that video and then over the course of uh, time in the last year um, asking about DUIs. So the specific question runs somewhere along the line of I have one or two DUIs in my background can I still be a firefighter paramedic? Now um, I'll give you some advice on this it's based on what I've seen personally in my career I've not done any research into this and uh, that research and part of the reason why I have not done any research into that is because it's a very sensitive topic and I'll get into that. Um, before I get into anything, I want to let you know that I don't want to discourage anybody from pursuing their career dreams. However, there's some things that really stack the deck against them. So, is it still possible to gain employment as a firefighter paramedic or uh, in any of the other jobs within emergency services if you have a DUI in, in your record? The short answer is yes. Um, the longer answer is yes with an asterisk and the reason I say this is that really there's such a logjam of really highly qualified candidates out there right now on the job market that um, if an employer has a choice between choosing you which may have you know you may have all the check boxes filled your classes your training etc versus another candidate who has the same check boxes filled yet doesn't have that um, criminal record on their uh, on their docket well then that's an easy choice for an employer to make and uh, to be perfectly honest this is the job market that you're competing in right now where there are really highly qualified candidates for each job in fact what I'm hearing out there on the street so to speak is that there are highly there are people with their firefighter one certificate and their paramedic cert who are now starting to apply for volunteer positions where there's no pay and no experience required. Typically those volunteer fire department positions used to be filled by uh, kids that were just getting out of high school or college and looking to get their feet wet. Now we're talking about seeing people apply where they've got three, four, five years in uh, emergency services under their belt, be it through training or work, and now they're coming to apply for these jobs just to keep something on their resume and to prepare themselves uh, for the career job of their choice. So um, that I want to set the stage a little bit for the playing field in terms of who you're competing against. So I really can't stress enough that once you have a DUI on your record, um, that's a black mark and uh, typically that doesn't go away anytime soon or very easily and those that have the DUIs know it doesn't go away very cheaply. So um, you, you stack the deck against you. It's, uh, there's just way too many qualified candidates out there. Now that being said, I've known uh, a couple people personally that do have DUIs on the record and were able to gain employment. Now this is a number of years ago before this uh, current job market uh, came to fruition. Uh, one gentleman in, uh, in particular I know got a DUI after what it seemed like uh, he made all the best efforts to act responsibly. In other words, he went out with friends on a given night for a big event, made plans to take a cab to and from the event, stayed in a hotel um, to, uh, to sleep it off. However, had something early in the morning the next uh, day to go to, and when he got in his truck, he passed out on the long drive home, crashed his truck, and when the police and emergency uh, personnel arrived, he uh, had to be extricated out of his vehicle. Blood tests revealed that he was still legally drunk. So this guy got a DUI even though he was on paper, quote unquote, making all the right moves to, to act responsibly. Now, after putting some time some distance and then a lot of training hours under his belt uh, and we're talking about a few years here he was able to sit down and explain that during his chief's interview which he was lucky enough to get to and kind of explain away um, uh, that DUI in other words hey I messed up um, I was younger you know in my early 20s this is where the, uh, I made the mistake uh, if I had to go back again uh, you know I would definitely do things differently or better here's how I'm living my life now, etc. down the line. So he was able to not justify his behavior, but explain it to a degree where the employer felt comfortable enough bringing him on uh, to that organization. 
So, um, when the idea of DUIs comes up or any kind of a criminal record, just understand that yes, you can still push forward with the career uh, aspirations that you that you may have, be it for EMT, for paramedic, for firefighter, but you are running up against people uh, who uh, to have clean records, and it's going to be really important for you to put time, distance, and space between both that event and then the people who surrounded that event. So. Um, you know, the, the explanations that I've heard used are similar to that gentleman's that I just described where, um, you know, hey, I was younger, uh, I was stupid, I was hanging with the wrong crowd. Uh, you, you know, can kind of detail out what your history looks like and then explain what you've done to make changes and then be able to prove those changes both with the way you carry yourself, with the way you address people, with your resume and then with your um, professional background and references so that people can vouch for you. So um, I hope this helps to some degree. This is a very hot topic and a very sensitive one which is why um, I'm very happy to be able to provide a service anonymously through the website in terms of an online mentorship because these are exactly the type of questions that we hope to help people out with. Uh, obviously that's kind of an embarrassing topic to ask in front of a classroom full of people. And uh, while we don't want to discourage people from going after the job, we've got to be really careful about uh, making sure that they understand the roadblocks that are up ahead of them. So I hope this helps to some degree. If you'd like to help out the website at all or uh, stoke yourself out with any gear, you can buy a t-shirt or hat uh, located right off the home page. With any questions, uh, you can contact me at josh at firefightermedic.com. Uh, any comments, go ahead and leave them under the blog and make sure you check our Facebook page for constant updates. That's all for today. Have a safe uh, day out there, and I'll talk to you soon.